this magnificent building called Science 14 and I believe it's really well uh, because we're gonna talk about science. Also feel yourself relaxed because we're gonna go for one hour, 30 minutes journey. We're gonna have a lot of science, we're gonna go through the virus model, we're gonna enjoy, there will be a lot of action, a lot of tension, there will be some fire, electrical shock, we'll make sure you are awake until the far end of this session. The program, the agenda, is that there will be an introduction to the psychological model behind lies that will help to dispel the myths. We will go, we we'll spend some time about myths behind lie detection. We will test your ability in a couple of seconds to read micro ex expression on the face. Establish the value of these skills in your work or in your private life. methods, the traditional one, the polygraph and the human. And first we'll go through the traditional one. And as you can see, on this, there's a spoon. Yeah? So, let's talk about the spoon. I hope this is not a good interest. So, if I heat up this spoon, and I ask you what's your name again? Alexandra? And I put Alexandra under pressure by saying, do you enjoy this great moment, this great conference? They are curious. We can say if she's lying or not, because if she's lying, the moisture of a non-essential part of the body, i.e. the mouth, will go in a different part of the body. If she's telling the truth, what will happen is that the moisture will remain in the mouth and in that case, when I put the spoon in her tongue, what will happen? Have you seen a fried pan? When you put water on the fried pan, what does happen? <laughs> yeah, it fizzles and you've got steam and that's what does happen. The steam which is in between the spoon and the water will protect and will protect her tongue. So, I will start again the question. Do you enjoy this marvelous conference? <laughs> Have you all heard about the polygraph? So-called light detection system, you know, for the police and so on. I brought a polygraph with me. This is a toy. It's true. But it's pretty reliable. It works good. What is that? It will say, detect your moisture and the temperature of your body and analyze the difference between it. So I need a victim, uh, sorry, a volunteer. <laughs> Have this. Yes. Would you mind coming with me? So I forgot to tell you, even so I said at the beginning, if you do lie, you will receive an electrical shock. So can you teach your hand? I'll strap it. The first time I bought that, I was wondering why there was a strap. Believe me, now I know. So, what is extremely important, like in real light detection, is to set up what we call the baseline. What is this baseline? So now the system is set up, we can ask, start to ask him also questions. Flavius, were you late or on time? Do you enjoy this conference? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So you just pour. He's a good liar. The thing is, with this, it does it does detect again what does happen in your body. It doesn't detect lie. What happened before? What could happen again? Is that when you start to feel anger, when you start to have stress, the water from your body move to the legs or to the arms. It doesn't remain here. It doesn't remain and it does change the temperature of the finger.
<laughs> you see? Yes. Thank you. Thank you much. What did happen? What did happen between the first try and the second? I did not on the table. Just to increase the stress. Because everything you were saying was quite okay, so you had three green lights and it was going, not going to the red. And I wanted it to go to the red. So I just increased the stress because he is sitting in front of about 50 people for the first time, not in really in an easy position. And what you do monitor, again, is the change in the temperature of the moisture. It's not that he's lying, he was under stress. And that's what happened. So thank you very much for your contribution. All this is fairly good. But again, it does detect anger, it will detect <laughs> stress, but not lying. There comes the human. In this context, the human being are the only machine, if you want, the only thing that can make the difference between stress, between anger, and things like this that will enable to detect the light. How do you know when somebody is telling the truth or telling a lie? I can hear that uh, and also see that it does generate a lot of debate and exchange, so very interesting. So what we will look at is a change, a change in the behavior. And that's what we'll see uh, uh, later on in the model. And regarding the eyes, in fact, what does happen most of the time is when somebody is telling a lie, he's looking in your eyes straight. The purpose is, is looking at you to see if you buy into it. So some people will avoid, but most of the people they will look straight because they want to see your reaction. Do you like, ah yeah, okay, no, just, mm -hmm. So most of the people think you like, they will look in your eyes. Mainly it's again, it's the change. The change in what we call the baseline, the change in the normal behavior. What we did with Flavius was initially to set the machine even so it, go, it went wrong initially, but was to set the machine to his temperature and moisture. Again, in terms of detection, it's really to look at how is the person behaving under normal circumstances, and then look at the differences. And the eyes could be telling you something or not, not always. So we've talked about face, we've just talked about body language, we are talking about now the way to build up the sentence. Memory plays a great role in lie or lie detection. To discuss now about truth and lies, I will show you a psychological model about lies. This model has been developed after something like 40 years of research by Dr. Paul Ekman, by some of his colleagues. And this is what is being used by the FBI, the CIA, Scotland Guard, also we train the MI5, you know, the circuit services in the UK, and other uh, forensic agencies. What does happen? You've got two parts. The emotion part, the feeling, and you've got the cognitive part, the thinking. When you are telling the truth, both words hand in hand. When you are thinking about something, a true story, what happened yesterday, what happened when you came in your car, you are feeling the same thing. There was a traffic jam, I got, you know, late, and it did put me under pressure, under anger. You will tell the story and you will feel it. So it goes, it's this kind of magic flow, you know, it's smooth. The way the story will come is very smooth. And what will happen also in terms, for example, of body language, the movement of the person, will be in accordance with the story. Now the thing is, some people tend to move a lot. Some people tend to move less. It doesn't mean that one is lying or the other one is not lying. It has just to do with the personality of the people. So just coming back on what we were saying earlier on, some people just you know, like don't move and it's normal. If it's their baseline, if they stay like that all the time, it's normal, it's just the way they are. What is interesting is to see a change. And the change we'll see that's what we will call a hotspot. So what does happen when somebody is telling a lie is that what he's thinking works against what he's feeling. 
you will have leakage through five communication channels. The facial expression, that's what we mentioned earlier on with the macro and micro expression, so the face. The body language, we touch upon. The voice, the verbal style, and the verbal content. For example, in terms of verbal content, they will change the word. Somebody saying a lie will not use normally the I, for example, and things like this. It's more like we, uh, negative terms like don't. And also they start to take some distance. It's taking some distances in the word. Through this, some tools have been developed which are used to review written testimony. So when you see a change, again, in the baseline, you were talking about the eyes, you were talking about the body language, about the voice, movement. If somebody is seeing your eyes, there will be a change. And that change is what we call a hotspot. That hotspot, again, doesn't say that the person is lying at that very moment. It says that there is something happening. And you need to probe, you need to investigate, check. The thing is, you need to be a bit careful. Because with this, you will start to see things that people don't want you to see. Not only in the lying situation, just when they are trying to hide something. The micro expression goes through uh, the story of seven universal emotions. Those seven emotions I'm going to talk about in a few seconds uh, are really universal. First one is the surprise. Second is the fear. Sadness. Happiness, disgust, contempt, and anger. What I want you to do now is to watch what I'll show now and indicate what kind of emotion you do recognize. Thank you.